uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the angle grinder, what I found out uh, while I was doing this, what I didn't know before. So here's my angle grinder, four and a half inch. That's probably the most common setup out there. I mean, this one is cordless, as you can see. Uh, but they work just the same for the corded ones. And most, if not all, of the four and a half inch angle grinders have uh, 5 eighths uh, arbor. That means the diameter of this shaft is uh, 5 8 of an inch. So, uh, when you're looking for cutting wheels, or cutting grinding wheels and whatnot, like those, uh, naturally, uh, at least I was thinking so, you would be looking for the wheels with the 5 8 uh, as a measurement for an arbor. Like, let's say, this one. As you can see, that's it's a fairly small hole here. And if you look here at the uh, numbers, yeah, see it says 5 eighths. Uh, so yeah, you, you pretty much know that that should work, right? Uh, I mean, not surprising if we put it in. Then that goes right in. Uh, okay, and I thought that's pretty much what uh, the kinds of wheels you're supposed to be using, 5.8 Arbor. Uh, now, there actually turns out to be, and uh, that was fine by me because the wheels that I've been using, that's, they were all 5.8, so that was fine. But now I was looking for some masonry uh, attachments, and uh, the ones that I liked, like a couple of them here, like well, this one, I'll talk about in a second, have actually, as you can see, quite a bigger hole here because that happens to be 5 eighths. Sorry, 5 eighths, uh, 7 eighths. Um, and I thought that's not gonna work for this grinder, that's for a big grinder. Uh, that's actually not true. So, yeah, as you can see, if I put it right here, like just like that, that's certainly quite a bit bigger. There is a flange there, so it kind of sits there, but what happens? If I do it in the usual fashion, so so that's actually not that you use to hold the, the discs in there. And for the 5.8 discs, what you're going to be using, as you can see, uh, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, there's a flange here on this side. Yeah, like that. But nothing on this side. There's actually a, um, a groove there. So you use this flange. And you face it towards the disc, like, like so, and then you attach it, and that's how it works. Yeah. By the way, uh, make sure that if you're using your cordless equipment, uh, that there's no battery while you're changing it, because yeah, these things are life. Anytime there's a battery, so you don't want to be touching anything like that. So yeah, as you can see, that works fine. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no wobble, there's nothing here, so that's securely attached. Now, so if we do the same thing with the other wheel we have here with 7, 8, so we put it in there, and then we try to put the flange, the same way as we did before, back towards the disc. And let me show what happens. Let's get our key. And okay, so it's securely attached, or so it seems according to the nut. Nut is all the way in. Uh, look, look at what happens here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, that is not how you want to have your angle grinder disc to behave. That wobble is just not going to work. So, but what you do in those cases, literally all you need to do is take this, the same nut, flip it around, make sure that the flange is on the outside now, and the flat side is in, 
like so. Then do the same thing again. Tighten it up and check it out. There is no wobble whatsoever, and I can show you. Just briefly, right? this. Uh, look. Perfectly fine, no wobble whatsoever. So yeah, you can use 5.8 Arbor discs, you can use 7.8 uh, discs, just as fine for the same 4.5 angle. As long as obviously the diameter of the disc uh, fits your, your guard. Do not remove the guard, that, that's important. Really that's... the angle grinder as useful as it is, can be dangerous. Uh, wheels can shatter and the guard is here to protect you. Don't take it off. So you see this one is barely fitting in at four and a half inch. And that's the maximum you can get. You can get smaller ones, like this one is a four inch, but five inch and above obviously is not gonna fit here. So don't use it with this grinder. You need to have a different grinder with a separate guard for that.